So welcome again. Let's start to meditate. So the intention of this meditation is really to to ground in the seven laws of the universe with the intention of focusing on peace and harmony in the world, especially wherever there are, there's war in this moment, is to truly hold those places in peace and harmony and to release any fear of war, destruction, or just to release any fear of this agreement. So let's begin. Let's begin by simply breathing in deeply. And then let it all go. Breathe in deeply again. As you breathe in, bring in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that does not support you in this moment. And then breathe in deeply again, bringing in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that is taking your attention away from this moment. And continue to breathe in and out according to your own rhythm with the intention of as much as possible while still being comfortable to elongate your breath. As you elongate your breath, your body would be able to relax. And as your body relax, so does your thinking relax as well. And every time you breathe in, your attention is really with your breath. As you breathe in, Put all your attention on breathing in, and as you breathe out, put all your attention on breathing out. In this way, you can truly connect with your body. Be with your body. Your body is your connection to experience this reality, to experience Earth in this moment. And when you are connected to your body, you are also connected to all of your energy systems, all of your major energy centers. As you are breathing in, imagine that you are bringing in oxygen. You are bringing in infinite possibilities to your root chakra, 
to your sacral chakra, to your solar plexus chakra, to your heart chakra, to your throat chakra, to your third eye chakra, and also to your crown chakra, all seven energy centers within your body. Fill them all up with infinite possibilities and allow yourself to let go of anything that does not support your earthly experience in this moment. Be in this moment, be with your body in this moment completely. So completely that you don't even need to think anymore. You are simply being. And as you are being, also remember that you are not just this physical body, you are also eternal spirit. You are eternal spirit that is here to embody the seven laws of the universe. As you connect with your body, also connect with your being, with who you truly are as a spirit, as a spirit being fully embodied. And as a spirit, you are using all of the energies of this body to experience your own beingness. Every physical sensation, every thought that you focus on, it shows you, it informs you of who you are being in this moment. So do an internal check. Who are you? Who do you think you are? in this moment. Do you think of yourself as a good person? Do you think of yourself as a peaceful person? Do you think of yourself as being part of the human race? And as such, you are working towards improving the human experience.
and as you connect with the eternal and universal part of you, bring in that part of you that is connected to the universal creator. Feel that part of you within your body. and feel within your own energy centers feel the resonance or discord with the universal creator. Does your experience, does your view of the world As you look outside in the world, does it reflect who you are being within? Do you feel any conflicts within yourself? any competition within yourself, any thoughts that are at odds within yourself. You are love. The universe is created out of love. And everything exists in this universe because of love. Love not as we understand it, but love as understood by the universal creator that is consistent with the seven laws of the universe. Do you find within yourself emotions or beliefs that are at odds with love.
And if you do, would you be willing to allow the authentic self, who you truly are, to transform those beliefs, those emotions that are not consistent with universal love. And if you do, then allow the authenticity, the truth of who you are, the eternal you to come in and assist you in transforming and letting go of any need to feel emotions that are not of the vibration of universal love. Have no judgment for all of those beliefs or emotions. Just know that they exist simply to let you know what's within you. What's if within you is what you would notice and focus on outside of you. to allow yourself to let go of fear. To let go of shame. to let go of victimhood. To let go of anger. to let go of the need to be right. To let go of greed. and to truly feel and be congruent to who you are being, your eternal beingness in this moment.
as you check within yourself again. Ask yourself the question again. Who are you? Who do you think you are? And know one thing that no matter who you think you are, you are so much more. You are the universe existing as a consciousness in this body. You are so much more than this body. can really feel your true self beyond this body. Feel yourself as eternal spirit in this body, embodied. Feel peace within your body. As you breathe in, bring in infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities for peace within your body. And each time you breathe in, allow these infinite possibilities to go all throughout your whole body, infusing each and every cell within your body with peace. Be the peace. Be the peace that you wish to experience in the world. Feel that peace within your body. And imagine if you have no fear, if you have no negative emotions at all. How would it feel like in your body? What does peace, joy, and love 
feels like in your body. Would you be smiling? Would your shoulders be relaxed? Would all your energy centers be spinning at exactly the right speed and direction for you? What would the world look like? If everyone embodies peace, joy, love. See that world within your mind's eyes and feel it within your being. And ask yourself another question. Do you live the polarity as a part of creation? Or do you feel it? as a separation. Do you believe that every war or everything, everyone that fights against what you believe in is a disconnection or do you view that it is simply a part of our journey, of the journey of the human collective? to co-create a path, not just to temporary peace, but to a lasting peace that comes out of understanding that we all have our own agenda and that we are simply an alternate part of ourselves. To see
polarity as a part of creation. Instead of thinking polarity is a disconnection. Who are you being? Take a deep breath in, bringing in peace, joy, and love. And as you breathe out, breathe out everything that does not support you to be in this moment with yourself, with your true self. And as you breathe in again, as you breathe in infinite possibilities, feel within yourself peace, joy, and love. Breathe in one more time. And check within yourself. Feel that congruence. Allow yourself to feel that congruence with peace, joy, and love. Choose to feel it, that you are already at peace, in joy, and in love. Feel it in your body. Feel it within your body and feel it around your body. And as you breathe out, remember anything that does not support you to be in peace, joy, love in this moment, that it is okay to let it go. Breathe in one more time. Really bring in all that peace, joy, love into each and every one of your cells. And let go of anything that does not support you in this moment. And when you're ready, you can come back into your embodiment of this peace, joy, love, and open your eyes.